Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome to Absolutely Positively. I am your host, Denny K. And look around. This forum is especially for you. It is meant to inspire, encourage, and motivate, which is my anthem of IEM. Get your IEM on. That's what you're going to get in Absolutely Positively. And today, we're looking at the lives of trees or one of my monikers, the Earth Mother. I love this background, but I love trees. I love trees. Um, and so you know that this forum is really for you to create and cultivate your uniqueness, to have you walk in that calling. And so hopefully something will be said and done that will do just that. So without further ado, we're going to jump right in. So if you've been rocking with me here on Absolutely Positively, you know that I like to dig into my little jar of tricks with some positive quotes that will do just that, that IEM, inspire, encourage, and motivate, right? And so today's quote is a special one. I try to uh, give you quotes that I just think are going to resonate or that's going to be very profound. And this one, I went back and forth with it um, because, you know, I went back and forth with it. It's, a, it's, it's from uh, one of our presidents long, long ago, but it's such a powerful quote that I just had to embrace it. And I'm feeling that way today. I'm feeling life, lifey. <laughs> <laughs> as one would say right now. Um, and it comes to us from Abraham Lincoln. I know, right? But, you know, he said something very wise. Whatever you may think about Abraham Lincoln, um, everybody has their moment to shine uh, and give a good quote. He is known for so many different things, but I thought this right here was just so powerful and had to be shared. And this is what Abe Lincoln had to say, President Abe Lincoln had to say, it's not the years in your life that count. It is the life in your years. And so I jazz it up a little bit. Let's, let's say that again. It is not the years in your life that count. It's the life in your years. And so my goodness, whew, we can do so much with that, right? Woo. That, that's good. And so in essence, it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how old you are. What matters is what you have done in that life, in those years. Can I get an amen? It doesn't matter how old you are. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to revamp this quote a little bit. It don't matter how old you are. It matters what you have done in that life, in that age, in that span of being on this earth. And so one of the reasons I decided to use this background with trees is that trees are just like that, right? You never really know how old a tree is until you cut it open and just really see what that life is, what that tree has given to this world and to this life. Um, we learned early in our, we learned early that, uh, well, when I say early in school, <laughs> we learned that when you cut a tree, you can count the rings within that stump to know how long the tree had been in this earth, how long it had been planted. And so to me, that really connected to what I'm trying to convey we get so caught up in, for instance, how long somebody's been married. You know, we celebrate that. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with the celebrate 50 years of marriage. But what did you do in that 50 years? What did you learn? What did you experience? How did you push that forward, you know, and tell us about it? Because you can be married 50 years and not be happy. That's real talk. That's real talk. Um, you can be almost 50, like I'm about to be, almost 50 and hadn't done anything. You hadn't learned a thing. But because I have a little gray in my hair, because I got some 
a, a numbers uh, behind my name that are higher than yours, it's supposed to speak what? Speak volumes. It doesn't speak anything if you don't have anything to say. Hello. Hallelujah. Amen. Pass the collection plate. <laughs> I'm preaching a little bit today, but I'm serious, y'all. We have to not get so caught up on the fact that we have done something just because we're a certain age or because we have some years. Abraham Lincoln said, it's not about that. It's about what you have done in those years. What have you done in those years? There's a wonderful poem that I'm not gonna quote, but it talks about uh, your life between the dash. And one of my favorite sayings uh, last year and the year before was living your best dash life. And so um, you're born and you die. And then there's space in between. If you look on a tombstone, you will see the ones with your loved ones that have passed. You will see the day they were born and you see the year of their birth, excuse me, the year they were born and the year of their birth. And in between there, the way it's written now, it's written as such, but then there's a dash in between there. And so there's a thought that says, what did that person do in their life? And usually that's what we talk about in eulogies, right? We talk about that dash life. We talk about the dash. And so I, after reading that poem, it's not called best dash life. I can't think of what it's called right now, but uh, it basically just talked about that. And so I coined that as I want to live my best dash life. I want to get the most out of my years, no matter what that looks like what that looks like. So Abraham reminds us that it doesn't matter if we're 4, 50, uh, 150. If we can't talk about powerful things that we have done, things of substance, things that matter, things or will be remembered for, then you've just been walking on this earth unfulfilled. You've been walking on this earth not doing what you've been called to do because this is what this form is about, right? Trying to elevate you to your uniqueness. And so let's make the most of all that we have here on earth. And we have to do that. Remember, he said, it's not about the years in your life that count. That don't count. It's the life in your years. What life have you utilized, lived in those years? I am proud, proud, proud mother of uh, all of my children. Um, but once when my daughter was, I think she was nine turning 10, she decided that on her birthday, she would give to a homeless person because she felt like they were not getting to utilize the best of their years. And so she wanted to, at the age of nine, give somebody a little bit of life. So any birthday money she would get, she would try to go buy something for them, some food, or just give a donation. And I thought to myself, this kid is nine. Why did you have to get to this point where you want to give to the homeless? What pricked your heart? What experiences have you gone through? What is motivating you to do this at nine? So at that point, at nine, that girl was living some life, some early life lessons at nine. And so that's what we're saying that it, I'm about to be 50, like I said, and I want my life to matter and the things that I've done matter. So whether that's giving to someone, whether it's doing this form, absolutely positively, whether it is thinking of somebody, encouraging them, sending them a text, uh, saying a kind word doing something for justice, doing something for poverty, uh, anything I choose, any cause, that, that's life. Or experiencing moments with my loved ones, with my family, with my friends, you know, with my children. That's living some life. 
because I want to be able to pass that on legacy. That's life. That's living some life that you can pass on something that you have done to the next person. And so that's what Abe Lincoln is saying in this quote, that it don't matter how old you are. That don't count. That don't count. But what life have you lived? What life have you lived? And in my own words, live your best dash life, the best of your ability, doing everything and all things according to his glory, <laughs> according to his purpose, according to his purpose for you. How about that? If you are a Bible follower, you know that, you know that scripture. So live according to your purpose and what he's called you to do. And Everything you do will count. And people will say, you know, she lived to be 75. But in that 75 uh, years on this earth, she did this, she did that. She stood for this. Her kids loved her for that. Her coworkers uh, admired her for this. She knew no stranger. She knew no stranger. And so I hope that that motivates you to do, to do more, to be more and fulfill more of your life that was given. So that way, it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how old you are. Every year will count and you will live your best dash life. <laughs> that was a that was an important one for me and so again these trees I don't know how old this tree is behind me but I know it's lived a lot of life because first of all we have some branches that go straight up we have some that uh curve out we have some that go vertical horizontal this tree is living its best dash life and providing us so much it is rich. Um, the leaves are full. The color is beautiful. It is living its best life. And so I hope if I ever get to see this tree in person and cut off a few of its branches to know its life, I would say it's probably lived hundreds of years just from looking at this, this best dash life. <laughs> so I hope you have enjoyed the scenery. I hope something has been said that has motivated you, inspired you, and encouraged you. I just hope that this forum continues to be a place for you and you get everything that you need and live your best dash life. So remember, no matter where you go, no matter what you do, no matter what you touch, we hope that absolutely and positively you make it a great one. You do exactly what you've called to do and be. And we hope you do it absolutely and positively. That's our show. And shout out to our sponsors, Mute Mogul Media Group. And subscribe and follow us and keep rocking with us because it's our absolute pleasure to serve you this way. Until next episode, take care of your host, Diddy K. And make it a great one, absolutely, positively. Take care, guys.